Here's a great little nameless falls set. And it's not really indicated on the uh, reservation map, but it's pretty impressive nonetheless. You'll come to it after passing over the under the power lines. And you can see it makes its way down to the Merrimack in a rollicking manner. Looks like some tree limb had a collision with some lightning by the way it's been shattered, but who knows. And forward we go to see just exactly where we are in this thing. The power lines are the given. Huh, a blazing quandary. Oh, there's another little charming bridge that isn't really indicated. Nice. Let's try this more well-beaten path. See, there's a little Charming bridge. Big old birch bit the dust. thing. Oh, this is new. Wow, no wonder it isn't really indicated. I think I recall mention of it. <laughs> but yep, this would be the crew up here doing what they do beautifully. Oh yeah, this is another great ravine. Yep. Brand spanking new. So we made it past a charming new bridge. Probably ended up making a trail reroute. 
Another big old bed thing. Long haul view. <sighs> Fairly close to the river. Several terraces above us. of the blazing. Dry up in midsummer. The vernal rivulet. <laughs> trees. So the trail tends to wind all along. Ooh, and look, here's some cozy benches. What do you know? Last year's shriveled mushrooms. <laughs> This will work for today. There's still more of Deer Jump. I foolishly imagined I'd finish it. I'm still not entirely sure if I made it to Raven's Bluff. It called my bluff. 
but uh, this is where I'll hang it up for now by the nearest cozy bench somewhere uh, to the west of the power lines and I'm gonna see if I can find an access trail and pick up from here the next time I visit this fascinating and elaborate little property owned by the Andover Village Improvement Society. Bless them.